Are you ready to see sets? Hello, my name is Sandra Lynn Sparks and I'm the Psychic Tutor. In this video we're going to be talking about psychic protection. If you're going to develop your psychic ability, you need to understand that you're working with a surprising force. As in the case of working with any other form of energy, there are dangers involved. You need to know how to protect yourself. This is easier than it might seem. Remember, everything is made of conscious energy. Consciousness is open to suggestion and intention. If you intend to protect yourself and have confidence in your ability, the protection is going to happen. Then, when something unwanted comes at you, you can just shove it off. But what if you're still not sure you can do it? Does that way seem too easy? Then here is how to shield yourself. You might be surprised how different the most effective protection is from what we've been taught all these years. In fact, it's the exact opposite of what we've been told to do. The method I'll tell you about is quick, efficient, and conserves your energy for more important things. Things that make you afraid aren't important. They're trying to knock you off track. If they do, they win. If you can show that you're perfectly capable of knocking them off track, the battle is quickly over and you still have energy for the good things in your life. How do you do it? Turn out the light. Flip the switch. Don't be afraid of your own darkness. You've heard of surrounding yourself with white light. That's something you need for daily living. White light reflects fully balanced energy. It's not just positive energy, it's all of it working together. White light symbolizes how you should live your normal life. But when things go wrong, you need to focus on the one thing that repels trouble. Negative energy repels negative energy, just as we were taught about magnets in science class. If you only use positive energy, it will attract the negative. Using negative energy doesn't mean you're being bad. It's all in how you use it. I think of bad as something loaded down with personal baggage. If you keep your baggage out of what you're doing, you'll be lighter and quicker in your actions than any opposition might be. Just as in martial arts, the strength of the method is not in how much power is used in the blow, but the speed with which you return to your normal resting state. Don't hold on to the force. Let it rest for the next time it's needed. That's a perfect psychic shield. Use it well. For more information on this topic, please visit the Psychic School Thanks for watching.